Hey, my dear students, how are you today? I hope you're doing great. Welcome for another exciting and enjoyable learning opportunity. I am Teacher Dad, your general mathematics teacher. Please bear with me in this online video learning in mathematics. Definitely, after this video, you will learn and enjoy mathematics the new normal way. Alright, sit back and relax as we explore the world of math magic. Before we begin with our journey, let's have first a short review. Convert the following percentage to decimal. Number one. If your answer is, you are correct. Number two. If your answer is, you are great. Number three. If your answer is, you're amazing. But how do we convert again percentage to decimal? Very good. The easy way to convert percentage to decimal is simply done by moving the decimal points two places to the left or simply by dividing it by 100 then remove the percent sign. Please do not forget the concept of converting percentage to decimal because we will apply that in our new lesson. Okay, before I reveal our topic for today, let me show you some pictures related to our lesson. All you have to do is to observe and say something you know or describe the picture I'm about to show you in one word. Alright, let's have picture number one. Picture number two. And finally, picture number three. If you say that the picture is all about money, investment, income, savings, banking, or loan, then you are correct. But what do you think is the word common among the pictures? Great! So our lesson for today is all about Simple Interest Specific Learning Objectives At the end of this video lesson, you should be able to Define Simple Interest and its Terminologies Compute the interest, maturity value or the future value, rate, time, and principle of simple interest. Solve problems in real-life situation related to simple interest. Okay class, since you are already the senior high school, sooner or later you will open a bank account. Or maybe you will invest your money to a financial institution. Or maybe you will borrow money from the lending companies. From then, you will encounter a different terms in your, in your account. We have the simple interest and the compound interest. But for today's lesson, we will focus on the simple interest. But what is simple interest? Simple interest. Simple interest refers to the amount paid for the use of the money or the amount earned for the use of the credit. Simple interest is determined by multiplying the interest rate by the principal and by the time or the number of years that elapse between payment. Have you noticed the term principal, rate, and time in the definition? What is principal, rate, and time? 
Principal refers to the amount of money extended for the credit or borrowed, or the money deposited or invested in the bank for safekeeping. Take note, the principal sometimes called as the face value or the present value. Rate refers to the charge amount after using the money over a certain period. The rate usually expressed in percent, but usually converted to decimal for ease in the computation process. What about time? Time refers to the period covered from the time that the money or the principal is borrowed until its due date. How is simple interest work? Okay, let me show you a simple illustration on how the simple interest work. Look at the given illustration. For example, today you deposited 106 pesos, the principal amount, to a bank that offers 6% annual interest rate. After a year, the money or the future value became 106 pesos. So the 100 peso principal amount, after a year, earn 6 pesos interest. How do we compute for the simple interest? Okay, as I mentioned a while ago, the simple interest is determined by multiplying the principal, rate, and time. So the formula for the simple interest is I is equal to P times R times T. Okay, let me show you another formula for the following unknown terms. For time. For, for the time. rate. For the principal. And for the future or the maturity value. Alright, let's have an illustrative example on how to solve problems related to simple interest by applying the formulas. Direction, compute the following missing terms of simple interest. Example number one. Given, principal amount is equal to 150,000, rate is equal to 1.5%, time 6 years. Find the simple interest. Before we start solving the problem, we have to convert first the rate into decimal. So the rate is 1.5% or equivalent to 0.015 Okay, to solve the problem or the simple interest, we simply substitute the given to the formula I is equal to P times R times T Therefore, I is equal to or the simple interest is equal to 150,000 pesos times 0.015 times 6 and is equal to 13,500. Let's have another example. Example number two. Given simple interest is equal to 1,875. Rate 3% and the time is 5 years. Find the principal amount. To solve the principal amount, we simply substitute the given to the formula principal, principal amount is equal to interest all over the quantity rate times time. Therefore, P is equal to 1875 divided by the quantity 0 0.03 times 5 and the answer is equal to 12,500.
Want more example? Okay, let's have example number 3. Given principal amount is equal to 250,000, rate is 0.5%, simple interest is 12,500, find the time. So in this problem, the missing is our time or the unknown term is time. So therefore, we have to solve this time by using the formula T is equal to I all over P times R. So by substitution, time is equal to 12,500 divided by 250,000 times 0 0.005 and the answer is 10 years okay class let's have additional example problem in real life situation for example number one Kane is investing 4,000 pesos for three years the interest rate offer is 7% annually how much interest will Kane earn after three years before we solve for the problem let's identify first the given and the unknown term so what are the given the principal amount is 4,000 pesos what is the rate 7% or the same as 0.07 and the time three years what is the unknown the simple interest okay so since the unknown is the simple interest therefore the formula that we are going to use is p times r times t so by substitution 4000 times 0 0.07 times 3 so simple interest is equal to 840 pesos let's have another example what is the simple interest rate if Joshua paid 2100 after two years and six months on a 12,000 peso loan same as what we did on the first example we have to identify first the given and the unknown term. So what are the given? We have the principal amount, the interest, and the time. Since our time is given in 2 years and 6 months, so we have to convert this into years. So the 6 months will be converted into year. So what is the equivalent of 2 years and 6 months in a year? that is 2.5 years six months is half of a year so therefore 2.5 years okay and what is the unknown the simple interest rate very good okay to solve for the problem we have to use this formula r is equal to the simple interest all over the quantity principal amount times the time so by substitution, 2,100 divided by the quantity 12,000 times 2.5 and is equal to R is equal to 0 0.07. Since this is written into decimal, we need to convert into percentage or percent. So therefore, R is equal to 7%. Right class, let us check your understanding on our lesson. Please try to answer the given exercises. Exercise number one. While you're answering the exercises, you may pause this video, then play it again after solving the problem. Next is exercise number two. You are only given five minutes to solve the problem. Please pause the video, then play it again after 5 minutes.
To check if your answer is correct, please continue watching this video by pressing the play button. All right, did we get the same answer? Good job! So that's all for today's lesson. Our next lesson is compound interest. Stay tuned for the next video lesson and please share this video to your classmate and friends. Once again, thank you for watching Teacher Dad's video lesson.